All is well, mga ka-CSS. Today, we will discuss how computers share or transfer data and resources to other computing devices. What are the components, the appropriate setup in order to link these computing devices. Now, look at this picture. What can you observe? Yes, computer, laptop, and other devices are connected with one another. Some are using Wi-Fi connection. This set of connected computers is an example of a computer network. Let's start with the definition of computer network. Computer network is a group of computing devices such as laptops, desktop, servers, smartphones, and tablets connected to each other that enables the computer to communicate with another computer and share their resources, data, and applications like files, printers, scanners, fax machines, camera, and even internet connections. In computer network, computing devices can be connected through wired or wireless. When we say wired network, it is a group of devices connected to one another using wires, network cables, or ethernet cables. In wireless network, computing devices are connected without wires. By using radio signal frequency, computers and other network devices can be connected and able to transfer data and share resources. Whether wired or wireless, most computer networks include these components. Number one, at least two computers, server or client workstation or computing device. These are electronic devices that runs operating system that hold, receive, and send data. Number two, transmission media. It is a pathway that can transmit information from a sender to a receiver. Example is network cable which is used to carry network data. Number three, network devices. These are physical devices that are required for communication and interaction between hardware on a computer network. Examples of these are router, switch, spanner, and hub. And we have the network operating system. It is used to enable the computer to recognize the network. Example, Macintosh OS X, Microsoft Windows Server, Unix, or Linux. So, any computing device that will communicate with a network will also include a network interface card. This is usually built into most devices. Older devices may require an adapter card that can be inserted into an expansion slot or expansion port. The main purpose of NIC or Network Interface Card is to format the data, send the data, and receive the data at the receiving node. It is either a distribution point or a communication endpoint. This is an example of a Network Interface Card. So we have Network Connection Port. This port is configured to connect specifically to a given type of network cable or jack connector. Next, the physical network address. It is a unique physical address marked on the card by the card manufacturer. The physical address is also called the media access control or the MAC address. Then, the status indicator lights. These LED status lights can provide information on the state of the network connection if there is a problem or signal from the network. Next, the computer networking. It is an engineering discipline that aims to study and analyze the communication process among various computing devices or computer systems that are linked or networked together to exchange information and share resources. So computer networking it is the study of how computing devices can be linked network to send and receive data and have access to shared resources. So with this, computer network can be categorized by their size. So these are the types of computer networks. First is local area network. 
is a computer network in which computers are interconnected in a limited geographical area such as in your building, apartment, hospital, or school campus. It is used to connect the computers within the limited area like home, yes, we have office, school, or under building vicinity. Next is Metropolitan Area Network, MIND. It interconnects a number of local area networks using high bandwidth backbone links inside a city. So it interconnects. It connects computers within a metropolitan area which would be a okay, which would be a single city or multiple cities and towns. A man is larger than local area network but is smaller than a wide area network. So yeah. Next is wide area network. It is a computer network merges multiple lands that travel all over the country or world. So it spans across a large geographic area such as province, state, or country. Next is storage area network. It is a dedicated high-speed network that provides access to block-level data storage. So it can be accessed by multiple servers or computers providing a shared pool of storage space. So it is a secure high-speed data transfer network whose main purpose is to transfer data between storage devices, servers, and other computing devices. Okay, next is Personal Area Network. It's a computer network for interconnecting electronic devices centered on individual person's workspace. So it's a network within the range of individual person. It can be wired or wireless, WPAN, that data transmission among devices such as computers, smartphones, tablets, and personal digital assistants. This type of network can be used for establishing communication among these personal devices. Another type of network is yes, Internet, a global system of interconnected computer networks that uses the Internet Protocol Suite, TCP IP, to communicate between networks and devices. It consists of private, public, academic business, and government networks of local to global scope linked by a broad array of electronic, wireless, and optical networking technologies. So it is a system of link networks, referred as a network of networks, because it allows computer networks around the world to interconnect. So it facilitates data communication services such as remote login, file transfer, electronic mail, and World Wide Web. Next type is Intranet a private network operated by a company or organization which uses internet technologies that enables people to store, organize, and share information within an organization. So it is an internal private network built within an organization using internet that can only be accessed by authorized users. So it depends on the configuration or setup of users. Next. So extranet, okay, the last type of computer network. It is a restricted public network that uses internet technology and the public telecommunication system to securely share part of a business information or operations with suppliers, vendors, partners, customers, or other businesses. So I mean to say, it is a controlled network that allows user from outside the company or organization to access some of the intranet files data and information as a way to do business with other companies as well as to sell products to customers. Those types of network can be linked, connected, network with or without wire, wired or wireless. Just always remember, wired network is transmitted over physical cables in a series of Ethernet packets, while wireless network it is transmitted using radio signal frequency via Bluetooth, infrared, or Wi-Fi. 
Okay, if you have questions or want to learn more about computer system servicing, just comment, like, subscribe, and smash the bell. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.